You're so full of surprises. Mm -hmm. A candlelight dinner for me. Oh, baby, I don't deserve you. You complete me, Roland. Loving you is like winning a lottery every day. I didn't know what I was missing until I tasted your essence. I never believed in fairy tales until the lighting of your love struck me. Now I don't want to recover from the wreck of your love. Baby, what was true the day that I met you has been true. Every second of every moment. I am with you. Thank you for being the queen of my heart. And may you continue to reign forever and ever in the custom of my heart. I love you, Roman. I love you more, honey. Now let's get to the cake. Okay. Which would you prefer? This? Or this? Uh, sweet cravings. I want to eat the both at a time on this table. <laughs> Talking about eating your cake and having it. You're such a taste, <laughs> darling. Uh, so, um, let's get to the cake. What? I need to do. I need to do. I need to do. I want to take water. Okay. I will not just get you water. I'll get you special juice too. Okay.
you, Auntie. Yes, this is a kid now. Auntie Roland is dead. What? Wait, I killed him. Is this a joke or something? Auntie, I'm not joking, he's dead. Roland is what? Roland is dead. Auntie, you have to come over. I have called the police. And they'll be here any minute. Auntie, please come down. Please leave any leave whatever you're doing and please come over. You have to be here. She has to pay for this. She can't. Did what? Please, he's dead. I killed him. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. I'll, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Okay, Auntie. Please come over, please. Stupid girl, that bitch has to pay for this. I'm going to make sure she pays for this. She has to face the law. Hey, what's happening? No, 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 no. no. Hey, the biggest joke of Hello? No, please, tell me it is not true that Roland is dead. No, please, tell me that it is a joke. Somebody just called me and told me that you know about Roland's death. As a, a, in fact, the person told me that you are the cause of Roland's death. This had better be a joke. <laughs> I am going to do a proper investigation. If I find out that you're a part of it, you're a dead meat. Uh, did you hear what I just said? Excuse me, if you know wherever you want to run to, you better start running now. Because there is no hiding place for you. I will fish you out and I will kill you myself. In fact, you will rot in jail. <laughs> ah, this had better be a prank. I am warning you right now. If you know anything about Roland's death, you are a dead meat. Dead. Man, anyone who sees you here crying, they will think you're all innocent. What kind of a woman is this? What did right there in Kena? How dare you? How dare you insinuate such? Eh? How can you even come up with that? Huh? I know we are all sad and heartbroken here, but this is not the right time to point accusing fingers. You're so evil. Nice one, Miss Narrator. I can see you can talk well, but let me tell you something. Breaking news, you just met your match. You both are the evil ones here. You killed my brother, and I can see you are aware. You and let me tell you something. You both are going down for this. I will make sure I send you guys to jail. Evil, evil man. You are evil man. Shut up. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Sorry, sorry. I came in when there is um, pandemonium. Uh, my name is uh, Detective Gauzier. I'm from the state CID. I'm here to investigate the death of one late Mr. Roland Ochuku. Sit down. Sit down. This is your work, sit down. Um, I'm sorry, I know what you are going through, but I need to answer some questions that I want to ask you. Um, I learned Mr. Roland ate some food. Yes, she served him cake and champagne. Cake and champagne, she killed him. She was the one who served him, I was there. It was in my presence, I saw it. Take it easy, young man, just take it easy. So, what did he eat? It was his birthday, so I served him cake. He didn't eat the cake. He said he wanted water. So I went inside to get him water. Suddenly, I heard his voice wallowing in pain. So I ran to shake my husband. <laughs> and I met my husband. It's okay, madam. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I want to ask you some few questions. How long have you been married? I've been married for four years now. How many kids have you? <laughs> no. 
we were waiting on the Lord before this sad incident took place. Um, sorry, what about the leftover of the cake? It's in the fridge. I cleared the table the following day, so I put the cake in the fridge. Please, can you help me with the cake? Sure. To take my leave now. Uh, but as soon as we find out some useful information about the death of late Mr. Roland, I'll get back to you. And regarding this cake, if there's any useful information, I'll let you know as well. Hello, Detective Bala. Can you meet me at that resident, please? Yes, Mr. Ojuku's resident. Oh, better still, can you send a... Yes, can you send somebody to come and pick it up? Okay. Okay. So, like I said, I'll, I'll bet to take my leave. And I want you people to please remain in peace until the investigation is okay. I'll leave for now. Thank you very much. Thank you, Detective, I have to tell you something. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Ikenna. Um, it's high time I left. But before I go, I want to ask you a question. I mean, who do you think will have poisoned your late brother, Mr. Roland? Why are you asking me the obvious? Without a doubt, we that did that, and you know. Well, I don't want you to jump into conclusions, because why would she poison her own husband? She just told us in there that the autopsy results confirmed that he was poisoned. And Rita served him his last supper. I'm sure you were not deaf when she told you that. Mr. Ikenna would not have you insult me. Because I don't know why a woman would want to poison her own husband. Why do you keep moving around in circles? The act of a woman is wicked, and like the popular saying, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Well, I like your literary rhymes, but I will still come back if the need arises. Thank you very much, Mr. Akela. Do your job. I will do my job. nonsense. What is the minimum of this display of shame? Your late brother is yet to be buried and you are here wasting away. By the way, are you not supposed to be in school? Rita, the next time you try this nonsense with me, you won't live to tell the story. Trust me. An explosion will be nothing compared to the havoc I am going to wreck and you won't see it coming. Then I will wait for that hard buck. Wait and see. Thank you. 
It was so small, but very big to God. It has grown big. Um, were you formally trained on how to bake cakes? <laughs> no, I actually learned it from my mom. That's good. Do you bake your cakes yourself or your staff? I bake all my cakes myself. Have you ever had a situation where somebody will buy your cake and the person drops the head? God forbid. Uh, what do you mean by that? I don't mean to worry your business, but you know But there's a case we are investigating. Somebody bought a cake from the shop and after eating the cake, the person got there. If you know you want to find out what killed him, please go and do that. You cannot just sit there inside my car and come and ruin my business. Please. Out. Please. <laughs> These whole thing is becoming confused. I mean, it's getting me confused. Why are you confused? When Roland was alive, Rita was always threatening to kill him. Now he's dead. I mean, why would a right-thinking person want to kill her husband? For so many reasons, best known to her. She claimed Roland was cheating on her, and he wasn't giving her his undivided attention and affection. Hmm. Uh, I don't think that is actually possible, but come to think of it, I want you to tell me, was your late brother Roland Wood actually cheating on his wife? How am I supposed to know this? Am I married to Rita or Roland? Why all these questions? All I know is Roland was a good man, he was very generous, very friendly, but you see that bitch he married, that lady is heartless. You have to make sure you arrest her. Stop beating around the bush. Arrest this bitch. Well, I'll tell you not to jump into conclusions. We'll do our job. We'll find a way around it. And I'm promising I'll get to the root of this. We already know who did. I don't know why, why you are always in her favor. She killed this man. Why are you wasting time? Arrest her. Do you want her to elope? Don't worry. When the time comes, we will know the right channel to take. Let's go. This is Rita Ojibu. I'm sorry to bother you. It's okay, Tutu. Were you aware that your late husband, Ronald, was actually sleeping with another woman when he was alive? Who told you that? Madam, please answer my question. Well, I knew. He did it once, and he apologized. He promised he would never do it again, and he fulfilled his promise. <clears throat> so I forgave him, and we moved on. <clears throat> Just like that? I realized early in life that the devil looks for a happy place to make his dwelling place. If you allow him, he will make a city in your home. But if you resist him the moment he gets there, he leaves your home. <laughs> Madam, you, you sound funny somehow. I, I don't mean to bother you. I mean, how did it come to terms with the fact that uh, you were aware that your late husband was sleeping with another woman? And you didn't find it, I mean, comfortable, I mean, looking for a way to hurt him in any way? Are you insinuating that I killed my husband? No, 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 no. I will never do such. No, I didn't. I loved my husband. Even in death, I still love him. <laughs> no woman ever dream of losing her husband. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to come and hurt you. I'm only here to do my job. I'm, I'm very sorry about that, okay? Um, but I may likely come back if the need arises. It's okay, please, madam. Uh, I'll see you later. Auntie, let's go and arrest this girl before she arrives. <laughs> what are you saying? Disappear to where? My lawyers are on it. We have to wait for them to do their work. 
we have to follow due process okay there's process to everything you can't just jump from 100 to 1 and just go and arrest her like that we will have to wait let them do their investigations and then you arrest her okay if that's what you want then fine you know me now you know how i do things you know how i run you know it's my game you know how i do my game forget it I don't just on, on, get it. On, 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 on. Don't honor me. I gave you everything on a platter of good, Roland. But yet you choose to be served on a wooden bowl. You had everything. I gave you this. I gave you this, Roland. Yet you choose to run after your innocent Jocelyn. Why are you cheating on me, Roland? Baby, it's not what you think. Don't you dare deny. I have proof. All I want to know now is why you are cheating on me. I am so sorry. It's the devil's work. I, I, I don't know how it happened. But I promise you, it will never happen again. I cross my heart. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. in his pocket when I was about to do the laundry. Hey, that's absurd. Roland no longer eats my food. He no longer touches me. I have to fight for his undivided attention. I'm so tired, Mimi. I think this marriage is about to be over. Okay? How can you give up too fast? You see, Every marriage goes through a stubborn stage. Talk to your husband. Communication is the key. You know, it is in the nature of men to go astray. Only the righteous men are in prison. Come on, it's me. Don't tell me you have the mentality that every man cheats. I give him his basic needs. I cook for him. I care for him. I nurture him. If you care to know, I make love to him like a damn porn star. So give me one reason, one good reason why, why, why Roland should cheat on me. I guess men can never be satisfied no matter how you try.
Hello, Abby. What's up now? Yeah, I saw missed calls. I'm so sorry. I should have called you back. I have been so busy trying to seek justice for my late brother, Roland. Yes, his wife killed him. Rita did. Yeah, she killed him. Trust me now. I won't stop until I get justice for him. She has to face the law. She will. Trust me. Don't worry. By weekend, we'll hang out now. We'll hang out. Trust me. The groove has to continue where it stopped. Don't worry. I'll come with money. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll sort your bills. But first, let me just get this, this shit done. Don't worry. Don't worry. Trust me. Okay, we'll see. Okay, later. That bitch has to pay. I am going to make sure she pays for this. She will pay dearly for this. Uh, do you know I sent the laptop back to the lab and the result was sent back to me yesterday. And guess what? Those cakes were all okay. No poison. Then who, who poisoned Roland? Well, all I know is I'll get to the root of this case. Definitely. Roland's girlfriend, Jocelyn. I think he's concealing a useful information. She might be the murderer. Well, all I know is that we'll find a way around it. I must get to the root of this case. That's good. No, that's good. Hi and Roland never dated. He was my boss and I was just an intern in his office. Your colleagues at the office confirmed that you were his mistress until he died. And that very day he died, you left the office with him, Jocelyn. Such liars. I never dated Roland. Truly he asked me out, but I never gave him the chance. He offered to drop me off at the bus stop, but I rejected. Why did you refuse his offer? I mean, why didn't you date him? What kind of stupid question is that? Roland was a married man. I don't do married men. Oh, you call it a stupid question. Why you call your boss by his first name, not Mr. Roland? I call him Mr. Roland. But because he's late now, I didn't have the prefix. Mm -hmm. Look, Jocelyn, I want to tell you something, and I want you to get it straight. All the text messages and the chat you had with Mr. Roland, I've seen all of them. And I am putting it to you here that you were sleeping with Mr. Roland until he died. Look, if you don't tell me the truth here, I will be left with no other option than to lock you up here until you confess. I, I dated Mr. Roland. But I didn't kill him. Why would I? I was shocked the day I heard about his death. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. I think you're beginning to let the cat out of the bag. And it's time you tell me more about that. Okay. I told you all I saw that night. Peter served my brother the cake and champagne, and he died afterwards. I was told you would see the cake. 
Yes, I received the cake. Could it be that you poisoned the cake just to punish Rita also? What sort of accusation is this? If you had done your job well, you'd be asking me this stupid question. Why would I poison the cake? I also ate the cake and here I am, Elan Eti. Wait, did you say you ate part of the cake? I ate the cake! I took one of the cupcakes, I ate it, and nothing happened to me. The cake that was given to me is the whole cake. So how come you are here telling me you ate part of the cake? Ah, you have to do your job well because I don't know. I don't know why, why, why you keep asking me all these stupid questions. Well, that's to say I have to go back. If there's any cupcake at all, I think I have to go back to the house and find out. But next time, when the police is interrogating you or a detective, you have to be calm. You don't have to be. Problem. Ah, uh, yeah, but I'm sorry to bother you also. How many cakes did you order for on your husband's birthday? I ordered for one cake and a box of cupcake. Mm. So, who received it on delivery? Ikena picked them up. I was on the bed top when the delivery man arrived. Uh, sorry, madam. Sorry to bother you. You are not out the door. What were you doing in the bed top? I was having a bubble bed, preparing for dinner between me and my late husband. Uh, in that case, um, if you don't mind, can I have a look at the leftover of the cake? I didn't have any of the cupcake. It must be in the freezer. I'm sure Mimi packed it after Roland's death. Let me go and get it. I will remind this. Um, in this box, we're supposed to be having six cupcakes. How come we're having four now? You said you didn't eat it. Two is missing. I didn't eat any of the cake. I didn't even open the box. So who must have eaten one or two of them? Because two are missing. You said maybe Mimi... He came now, your little husband ate the two. I don't know. I don't know, maybe. Well, what I will tell you, madam, is we will get to the root of this. I think it's getting clearer now. I know that you are aggrieved. I, in fact, I know how you feel. I am bothered as well. I am pained. 
but we need to allow the investigators to carry out their job, to do their work. Let them do what they need to do. They will do the needful, and then at the end of it all, she will get arrested. Fancy, I'm not pointing fingers. I know you did it. She killed him. She killed him. Don't tell me you believe a trifling has. That bitch killed him. I still put it to you. Allow detectives to do their work. No problem. No problem. Yeah, I'm getting concerned as well. No, what you're trying to say now, you think um, Jocelyn is the culprit and she should be arrested? Well, I'm equally having my eyes on that lady as well. Do you know one thing that baffles me today? It's so unfortunate you were not in the office today when the results carried out on those cupcakes was brought to the office today. Do you know that one out of those Four cupcakes is poisoned. The thing there now is who now poisoned the cake? Anyway, me, I'm not relenting on this case. I'm seriously interested. Um, when will you be in the office tomorrow? I'm on night now. When I finish tomorrow, I'll go, I'll come back to the office in the afternoon. Let's talk. Let's see and see how we can move forward. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello? Detective Doze or whatever your name is, I don't even want to know. Why are you disturbing me? Why are you calling me? You are just going back and forth. If you have any business with Nonso, go to the office and start it out. Each, don't even go to my office. Go and do your investigation elsewhere and stop disturbing me. Will you stop calling my number? Why are you disturbing me? You want to run my business or what? Please stop calling my number. When you go to the Ojukus residence on the 26th of March, who did you deliver the gift to? The guy received it. Was that the first time you were delivering cakes to that residence? The second time. How many cakes did you deliver to that residence that day? A cake and a box of cupcakes. When you deliver those cakes, was that the only place you deliver cakes to? I can't really remember. I think I delivered donuts and a cake to another customer. Do you have the names of those customers you delivered cakes to? Give me their names and addresses. And I want you to cooperate with me because if you don't cooperate, you won't find it funny. Honestly speaking, Bala, you are very, very correct. Can you imagine I visited four out of Madame Yolandia's regular customer today? The result I got from the river for them. Do you know two out of them, those four lost their clothes? Realities immediately they got cakes delivered to them. Yes, they love their relatives. Okay, I think we are getting to the end of this story. We will find out who is behind this atrocity. All right, okay, well, let's see how it goes.
get you water. I'll get you special juice. Okay. While you are preparing my juice, let me off my jacket. Yes, sugar. I'm sorry, sir. It's the devil's work. The devil's work, you did. Why did you poison Mr. Ojuku for cake? I don't know of any Mr. Ojuku. I just poison cake randomly. Once in a while. Mr. Juku was just unlucky to get the poison one. Why? And who sent you? Nobody. I do this once in a while to ruin my madam's business. Instead of you to quit a job you don't like or is not paying you, you decide to take people's life by killing people. Do, do you know how many families you have you have torn apart? Do you know how many how many people you have put in serious pain with these your evil acts? Like popular saying, revenge is best served cold. I tried to serve my solid highs. Madame Yolanda is very, very wicked and heartless. She does not care about her staff's welfare. What she cares about is her business. When I took the job three and a half years ago, I had the intention of saving her for my university. And she's aware of that. But Madame Yolanda will never pay me on time. And the workload is too much on me. She's very wicked and selfish. So, instead of you to quit, you decide to revenge. Why? I'm sorry, sir. I don't want to go to jail. You rot in the jail, I promise you. Anyway, I'm not in the best position to tell you. When you get to the courtroom, the judge will tell you. Because instead of you to just leave the job you don't like, you decide to kill people. You decide to make people cry. You decide to make families, people become orphans. Just be prepared. You'll face the penalty of what you have done. I'm very sorry for all the embarrassment I have caused. I'm so sorry for all the wrong accusations too. And I hope you find a place in your heart to forgive me. I'm so 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 sorry. I was I was pained. I thought I shouldn't have this I know. Let's just forget the past and bury the actions. I sincerely apologize and I hope you will forgive me. Thank you so much, sister. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I pray that we land so rest in perfect peace. What for her? My husband is not dead. <laughs> My husband is only sleeping. Roland, don't you know you're not like her? You are only sleeping. Wait, why all this dramatic display? You killed this man. Anyone who sees you here crying, they will think you're all innocent. What kind 
of a woman is this? Hold it right there in Kenya. How dare you? How dare you insinuate such? Eh? How can you even come up with that? Huh? I know we are all sad and heartbroken here, but this is not the right time to point accusing fingers. You're so evil. Nice one, Miss Narrator. I can see you can talk well, but let me tell you something. Breaking news, you just met your match. You both are the evil ones here. You killed my brother and I can see you are aware. You and let me tell you something, you both are going down for this. I will make sure I send you guys to jail. Rita, the next time you try this nonsense with me, you won't live to tell the story. Trust me. An explosion will be nothing compared to the hard work I'm going to wreck. And you won't see it coming. Then I will wait for that hard work. Wait and see.